everybody. Hello. Uh, sorry for making you wait a little bit extra longer. Um, oh, there's, there's the game. Um, a little bit extra longer. Um, I was messing with some graphic settings, and I decided that uh, to try it on a bit higher of graphic settings than we've had in the past. Hey, Yvonne. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, thank you for the lurk. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I hope y'all are doing pretty well today. Um, I'm doing all right. Uh, the, uh, the plan for today is a little bit weird. Um, I may not play this game the entire time. I don't know what I'll play otherwise. Um... I have a cat begging for attention again. Um, but uh, we uh, we'll see we'll see what happens basically. But um, the uh, the primary plan for the day is to go through the actual lore of the game, uh, which is through the documents and the uh, collectibles and things like that, of which I have a hundred percent. Um, I did not have 100% in the in the actual playthrough that I did earlier through the streams, but um, I have an OG playthrough uh, that I've got complete 100% uh, completion on. Um, so as you can see here, I have all of the documents, all of the secret bags, all of the surveillance recordings, etc. Um, I have not gone through and done uh all of the different runs in the game and gotten them to three stars oops wrong button um so like you can see here that i've got some that are two stars and stuff like that um so i might do some of those um i might not it depends on uh interest levels and things like that um but uh also it depends on how my graphics card is holding up hey cat like thief good to see you good to see you how you doing um, but, uh, yeah, um, announcements, uh, starting June 14th, as I've been saying for the last however long, uh, June 14th, I will not be streaming for a couple of weeks, or not a couple of weeks, a couple of months, actually, I'll be taking basically my summer vacation starting at June 14th, uh, I'm doing pretty good, I'm doing pretty good, uh, glad you could stop by, man, but, um, yeah, uh, June 14th, uh, for a couple of months, I will be, uh, not streaming or available at all because summer vacation, more or less. But, um, and then, uh, let's see here. Other than that, oh, I have a Patreon for anybody who wants to support me more directly than through Twitch. Uh, you can go into my link tree down below and, uh, subscribe to my Patreon. The only tier I currently have is... Uh, one dollar tier where it's where if you pay one dollar a month you will get your uh, name in a uh, in a thank you card at the uh, at the end of my streams um, and uh, there will be more tiers eventually um, I just have to work specifics and logistics about those so if you want to support me more directly uh, though that that's how you do that um, all of the proceeds from my patreon will go directly back into my content creation um and that ranges from things like computer upgrades to uh streaming equipment to uh games to entertain you guys with uh any any fees that come up for different things i have a cat who's being very adorable which is why i'm leaning this uh, this direction she's she's saying you, you pet me you pet me <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, currently at work. Fair, that's fair. Focus on work, don't get in trouble, don't get fired. Uh, but thank you for, uh, thank you for watching. Um, but, uh, yeah, before we, before we do any of the lore, let's, let's do, uh, let's do one of these, let's, let's do some running around, shall we? Just, just because we haven't. this beautiful world uh, it's actually lagging a little bit I can feel it I can feel it struggling on the graphic settings it's on damn okay hold on I know exactly what I need to have it on for it to run more smoothly let's see here um, 
Reflection quality needs to be down one. Texture quality, I believe, needs to be down two. Yep, there we go. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, let's do this. All right, as you can see, I'm not in the... Uh, I'm not near the fastest speed, but I'm in the top 2% of this uh, race, uh, which is not hard. As you can see, there's a lot of people who are in the top 2%. Um, all right. This is just a warm-up. We're not really caring too much about my actual time and stuff. Oh, wrong button. We're just warming up. We're just having a little bit of fun before we get into the actual lore of it. All right. Oops. Nope. I was trying to do something. Spe I was trying to do something weird. Just to see if it would let me. Nope, this is going to be dead. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeet. The finish line is right about there. I'm trying to see if there's a faster way to get there from here. Hmm. Probably not. A more direct route, I mean. Trying to be a little bit smoother than that. I want to actually, like, I'm now actually trying to see if I can get to that three star. Because I actually got pretty, I feel like I got pretty close there. Come on. Push the wrong button, buddy.
three stars. Hell yeah. Try again. Did I get it in three stars? Was it her? Yeah, it's over here. So yeah, I did get it in three stars. Good, 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 good. All right. All right, let's go into uh, one of these documents and let's, let's read some documents. The conglomerate. For 14 years, the conglomerate has ruled supreme. Has ruled supreme in Cas Cas Oh my God, this is this is not starting well in Cascadia. And in practice, they were already in power for two decades prior to that. The corporate houses have entrenched themselves firmly since the founding, and most mid and low caste. And oh my God, this really, this really is um. Hmm. Okay. And in practice, they were already in power for two decades prior to that. The corporate houses have entrenched themselves firmly since the founding, and most mid- and low-caste believe the current system to be the best one imaginable. Few want to return to the horrors of the Omnistat era. Conglomerate policy dictates the do's and don'ts applying to everyone living in Cascadia. It describes the code of conduct, safety rules, and other regulations affecting in and employs life english i do speak it it is enforced by kruger sec and policy breakers are sentenced without trials punishment ranges from temporary suspension of selected rights to contract termination which essentially is the same as being demoted at least one cast serious offenders are made permanent outcast and and most end up doing forced labor in the graylands some even disappear General surveillance is mainly handled by automated camera systems where advanced algorithms constantly scan for deviant behavior, and this is combined with the grid link, a wristband biometrically con oh my god, biometrically connected to the wearer and linked to his personal grid print and financial status. The grid link is the employee identity made manifest both physically and digitally, and link loss can be considered grounds for contract termination, if not caused by accident or victimized crime. Outcast and off-grids have no grid links. All right, let's listen to some, uh, let's listen to the scientific principle recordings, shall we? And this is the central repository of all test results. Is there a quick reference so I can get up to speed? Yes, I will send it to you, Dr. Mallon. You should spend time familiarizing yourself with the data. Any specifics you'd like me to delve into, Director Mallon? We'll get to that tomorrow when I introduce you to the team. Fine. And who will I report to? You'll be reporting to me, of course. Oh, I thought... You thought what, sir? I just don't think these results match up at all. What are you implying? I'm not implying anything. I'm stating very clearly that your conclusions are based on test data from a far too low number of subjects. That is quite strong criticism from somebody new to the project. Maybe, but the fact remains that you should have done a better job. There are simply not enough sample points to use as conclusive evidence. I disagree. You do what you will. We need to perform more tests on human subjects. And what is this Potter's algorithm, really? Only the groundwork for everything we're doing. And human test subjects. Where will you find them? I don't think that'll be a problem to you. Connor's algorithm, as we learn through the course of the game, of course, is the is an algorithm devised by Faith's mother, or at least her parents, and was used as the uh, formation foundation not formation foundation of the reflection which was the big computer thing that we had to stop at the end of the game have you seen this i have never seen these studies before is this something dr malis requested there's a restricted subhash here I i'm supposed to have full access to our research what is this brain hemorrhaging pain receptors limbic system attachment ring system Dr. Malice discuss any of this with you? 
Yeah, as we found out, Kingdom, I'm pretty sure, is what they were calling that secret prison that was underground that Noah was in. Um, and as we found out in that, when we tried to rescue Noah, they've been using the the subjects of Kingdom as the uh, as uh, test subjects for reflection. I believe the spies they were referencing were uh, Faith and the uh, person in black who we never really deter found the identity of, if I remember correctly, who uh, when we broke in at the, into uh, into those labs at the start of the game. Yeah, and then I believe Aline Mayra is the person, one of the people that we successfully rescued from Kingdom during the course of the game. All right. Uh, let's read another document, and then we will uh, do another run. Kruger Holding. At a glance, uh, security, ma weapons manufacturer, and resource mining giant. Kruger Holding is the largest and most influential corporation within the conglomerate. A Kruger has occupied the conglomerate director chair for 10 out of 14 fiscal years since the conglomerate's rise to power. And Kruger Sec personnel constitute the main bulk of the security forces enforcing order within Cascadia. The current chairman is Johanna Kruger, also chairman of the conglomerate board. Johanna Kruger, we at the end of the game, she uh, gave an announcement announcing that Kate, the sister, also known as Isabel Kruger, um, was the next person to uh, take over Kruger Sec after uh, after Gabriel Kruger's went missing. Basically, he went missing slash died. Um, total market share is 15%. Number of employees, blah, 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 and various information that you're seeing on screen. Uh, main subsidiaries, uh, their corporate slo slogan is dare to soar, while Kruger sex is safe and secure. Um, main subsidiaries, Kruger sex, security forces, Kruger defense forces, Kruger arms, research and manufacturer. Uh, Kruger Mining, which is mineral extraction and processing, Kruger Steel, Kruger and Materials. And it was founded in fiscal year one. 
let's go through the let's go through these uh syst these corporations here. Bryson Industries at a glance. Bryson Industries is the main engine vehicle uh, is the main engine vehicle uh, heavy equipment and tools manufacturer in Cascadia. It's the second largest corporation within the conglomerate and has seen a steady rise in the last five years to the point that some believe Bryson is making a bid for the conglomerate director chair within the foreseeable future. These speculations are further fueled by the deep rivalry and animosity between House Bryson and House Kruger. Current chairman is Ben Bryson. They currently have 11% of the market share. Uh, driving progress is their corporate slogan. Uh, main subsidiaries are Bryson Auto, Bryson Engines, Bryson Construction Equipment, Bryson Marine, Bryson Turbines, Bryson Aero, Bryson Defense Systems, and Bryson Appliances. Founded fiscal year 7. So six years after Kruger. WFYO Finance. Uh, at a glance, the single remaining banking investment and corporate law firm in Cascadia, WFYO, is involved in all the other corporations to some extent, and some claim they are the ones wielding the real power in Cascadia. WFYO stands for Wander, Born, Fairchild, Yari, and Olson. The original founders house yari and olsen have since fallen into disrepute and been removed from the corporate charter uh current chairman is solomon wanderborn fairchild uh they have 10 percent of the total official market share um their main owners are house wanderborn fairchild wanderborn wanderborn that's a hell of a name i love that uh, corporate slogan, we make money grow. Main subsidiaries are WFYO Bank, WFYO Insurance, WFYO Legal, and WFYO Capital. They were founded in fiscal year 12, after which is when their final merger happened. Interesting. Sylvine Systems. At a glance, Sylvine is the premier software and electronics hardware manufacturer in Cascadia. Their attention to detail and, qu uh, and quality... English and quality quickly propelling them to the top of the market where they proceeded to assimilate all competition. They are involved in several cross collaboration projects with Kruger Holding, Elysium Core, and uh, Everdyne Energy. And their products range from advanced computational hardware to surveillance packages, entertainment systems, and wearable devices. Their current chairman is Arthur Malice. Arthur Malice was the guy, uh, the doctor we were, uh, that we encountered in the recordings. Uh, their total market share is 9%. Number of employees, uh, that number as of fiscal year 48. Uh, main owners are House Malice. Corporate slogan, enhance your life. Main subsidiaries are Sylvine G-Ware, Sylvine H-Ware, uh, Sylvine Rdev, Sylvine Manufacture, and they were founded in fiscal year one. <clears throat> Hold on a second, let me just quickly check. Okay. So we're not going to go through all of these. We'll stop at Sylvine uh, Systems for now. Uh, before we get down to Callahan. Um, I mean, we will go through all of them eventually. But, like, I won't go through all of them right now. Um, let's do another one. Nah, let's hold off on that. And instead... Let's see here. Let's go for quite a few... Wait a second. Huh. If I had realized it, I could have done this and then cut off some time. Huh. A decent bit of time, too. 
I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Hold on. Uh, let's let's see how much time I can cut off of uh, high roller. That first one we did, and then we'll do and then we'll do that other one. I promise. But I'm I'm curious now. I'm curious now. Yeah, if I hadn't fucked that, if I hadn't fucked that one thing up, I would have. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I'm not gonna try that again. Um, now where was it? That one that we were heading toward. Nope, it wasn't that one. It was quite a view. I could teleport over to it, but I kind of want to just run to it, you know. Just a second. I need to put a cough drop in. So I'm not coughing into your ears. Excuse me. Again.
excuse me. <coughs> excuse me again. All right. Where is... Where am I? Oh, I'm going up there. Up there? Nope, not there. This way. Wait. Where's that? Must be up here. Must be up there, but I don't. Get a move on. Not too eager to go to the gray land, huh? Wouldn't be either. Sorry, guy, I couldn't find you to save you. <coughs> Give me just a second, y'all. See if we can't get that three star rating. Oh, wrong button. Okay, we're learning the route. We're learning the route. Oh god, Faith. Where's the end? <coughs> there it is. Okay. Alright, so before I trigger that... Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, restart. <coughs> okay. Damn it. Ow. Jesus. I'm sorry, Faith. That was my bad. Damn it. I'm sorry, Faith. Okay, there's something I want to try. I want to do this. And then, okay, so no, I can't climb up on top of that. All right. Wait a second. Can I? Are you? Yeah, you're too hot, tall for me to. Okay. All right, let's just. Oh, damn. 
That's not going well. <coughs> Excuse me again, guys. I'm really sorry about all the coughing. Okay. I don't know. Let's just cancel. Um. Yeah, let's just do let's do more uh, lore. So then Gabe says he's got a special mission for us, right? That he wants us to sweep the old tunnels for mines and stuff. Hold up, hold up. Did you just call Gabriel Cougar Gabe? Yeah. <laughs> We're on first name basis. It's a bromance. You know. Yeah, does he know that? <laughs> of course he knows that. I call him Gabe and he calls me George Gordon. Of course he does. You shut up. I'm trying to tell the new guy <laughs> our mission. The fuck? This is not what I signed up for. I'm not meant to be underground. I should be doing something else. I, I, I could be a valuable asset to Kruger Sec, but they don't get it. And what is it you do exactly that's so valuable? Well, uh, for, for one thing, I, I, I know how to hack things. Hack things? Yeah, you know, things. Th things that can be hacked. So some uh, Kruger Sec fellas found some gold down in the tunnels. This box isn't from here. That ain't no corporate logo. This is Omnis, that stuff. Oh, hell. Where did you say you found it? No, I didn't say. It was hidden. I only found it because I pulled it out and tripped on it. That's a lot of gold. Must be worth a ton of script. There's this, too. It looks like some kind of map. A map of what? Of these tunnels, it looks like. There's a lot of X's on that map. There's a lot of tunnels. I mean, how big is this complex, really? My guess is the X's point to other caches, just like this one. Do you think there's gold in them by other ones, too? I don't know. They must have been placed here in preparation for something. An invasion? Or maybe spy money? So, Sarge, if it's like you say, and the gold has been hidden here for spies and other vermin, then wouldn't it be a very loyal thing to liberate said gold from Omnistat, thus eliminating the threat? Yes. Yes, yes. Hackett is, is totally right. We, we should absolutely liberate it. Well, the loyal thing would be to call up Mr. Kruger on your grid link and report this immediately. No, 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 I mean, what use is this gold to him? I mean, he's got more script than he can spend in a lifetime. Yeah, way more. Besides, you, uh, reception, it, it's not very good down here, is it, guys? You, you got anything? I got no bars. Oh. Not a bar here. I can't download nothing. There you go. UFC, nothing. We're out of touch down here. Out of touch. Two more weeks, and I'll retire. I only ask to be transferred to this company to get my tour cut short. Yeah, what are you going to do with your retirement? Get a nice place out in the gray land where you sit on the porch with your husband and nod to your neighbors and flipping the finger every morning. What, you gonna sip your double espresso until that stubborn little poop comes out and just wait until St. Peter taps you on the shoulder? I don't think so, Sarge. That's not the Sarge I know. No, I know that I would want to spend my retirement in a luxurious regatta bay apartment, you know, with a big white screen TV and all that kind of stuff. Not some Rayland Hovel. Oh man, two weeks, and this happens. You want to 
want to swear, don't you? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so since you have a plan for everything, how do we convert this goal into actual script? I don't know one single realtor who will trade an apartment in Regatta Bay for pure gold. They don't want script. Well, we can't do it. <coughs> uh, they'll lose that right away. We have to get someone to do it for us. A proxy. a friend who has a cousin who has a friend who knows somebody. I got lost there. Well, that sounds promising, Haggard. Now, he owns a rifle shop. Now, his cousin knows a guy who has a men's wear selling slacks. It's a little place, and he has a restaurant also on the sidelines in Anchor. Now, he could help us. So, uh, a His cousin, yes. How's he gonna do that? We're gonna hide things in slacks? We're gonna hide, we're gonna make gold slacks? We will look good. I don't know! I don't know, I'm not the brains of this operation. You think? I didn't do marketing. I don't know about selling slacks. I'm not even sure this operation has any brains. <laughs> There's a lot of gold here, though, and I, we deserve it. We've done our part for this proud nation. This is our reward. I love that the audio said Dagnabbit, but the transcript says this is our reward, damn it. <laughs> Dagnabbit? All right. All right, we read Sylvine Systems, Callahan's Construction Corps. <laughs> Callahan Construction Corps is responsible for the vast ongoing uh, reconstructions of Glass and Cascadia Prime. Close, co close collaboration with Bryson Industries has seen them make several advances in building techniques, machinery, and overall the last and oh my god, machinery and material over the last decades. Ale current chairman is Alexander Callahan, 9% market share. Uh, building for tomorrow, blah, 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 blah. Everdyne provides Cascadia with energy from several different sources, all of them nearing depletion, most of them causing heavy pollution. Everdyne also handles the extensive desalination needed to provide Cascadia with enough fresh water. And here to, and here, uh -huh. and here too, their resources and facilities are stretched to the breaking point. Current chairman, Akiko Kanate, Ak a Canada, 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 whatever. Total market share, 9%, blah, 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 blah. Elysium. At a glance, Elysium is the dominating healthcare provider, pharmaceutical, and medical research, corp research corporation. English. Uh, in Cascadia. They run the hospitals, develop and sell their medicines, and manufacture the medical equipment used. Sinister rumors claim that they are doing shady things within their pharmacological division, but nothing has been officially verified. Current chairman, Angus Mortel. Total market share, 7%. Your health is our business, blah, 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 blah. Allcom! At a glance, Allcom owns the communications networks and operates the grid, the network accessed by all employees. They work closely with Sylvine and Everdyne in, an, in a complex relationship of interdependency and part-time rivalry. Allcom also handles the ubiquitous co communication surveillance systems and associated databases, which are accessed and managed with, it, with Sylvine developed software. <coughs> Irina Pope is the current chairman, and we've heard that name mentioned several times throughout the course of the game. The Maya Media Group. Maya, Maya. MMG is the premier news and entertainment provider in Cascadia, controlling all major news outlets, sports arenas, and production companies. There are experts at pro they are ops yeah. 
They are experts at propaganda, manipulation, and public pacification. And other corporations utilize their talent and know-how in their message in messaging to the public. Uh, current chairman is Paula Lupin Tanner. 7% market share, blah, 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 blah. The Pirandello, uh, Pirandello Group. We, uh, yeah. Pirandello clothes, clothes the citizens of Cascadia. They set the trends, uh, set the trends, decide the f latest fashion, and further cement the strata in society by offering different clothes ranges to the corporate houses and regular employees. <coughs> Excuse me. Making sure the house range is priced way above the pay level of regular employee. The clothing lines are complemented with beauty and hygiene products in the same price ranges. In Cascadia, the way you dress and smell is an immediate class identifier. Because of course it is. Uh, Carla Pirandello is the uh, current chairman, blah, 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 blah. Cascadia Logistics, at a glance. Though they are the owners and operators of the public transport systems and all logistics operation in Cascadia, CL are, uh, CL are struggling to gain influence relative to their standing on the conglomerate board. Uh, they provide the arteries between the cities and capillaries within them, and everybody knows it. But they are still sidelined by the more illustrious corporations. Current chairman, Ursula Bloch. Or Bloke. Probably, probably Bloke. Or Block. Probably Bloke. Anyway. Raposa. <coughs> As the main food manufacturer and distributor in Cascadia, uh, one would expect Raposa to be larger than both Kruger and Bryson combined, but a debilitating internal rival rivalry together with a series of misinformed decisions have served to marginalize this once incredibly powerful corporation. They are planning a comeback, though, because people must eat, after all. Current chairman, Anton Raposa. Blah, 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 blah. Anansi Group. The Anansi Group grew to fill the gaps left by the other major corporations. Starting out as a pure furniture manu manufacturer, the group has since grown to produce and sell everything from toothpicks and diapers to king-size beds. It operates several different retail chains catering to the different castes, and being the youngest corporation, they are also the most aggressive, and in some way most unorthodox of the majors. Jed Riken is the current chairman. Let's do another uh, series of... Actually, uh, because we w did the scientific principle in which they had Aline Mera, here's a document on her. And that's her right there at, at the top. Aline Mera, I'm probably butchering that name, uh, only ever wanted to do science. From an early age, she was engrossed in books and experiments. Uh, mainly related to human-machine interfaces and the merging of the uh, digital and biological. As she grew older, she found employment in with Elysium Core, already then a premier biotech and pharmaceutical company. And soon enough, she came to head up her own division. Over the years, Aline would rise to assume a prominent director position within the Reflection Project. Her area of focus concerned how the nanites could monitor and improve the health of the host. And for a long time, she convinced herself that the reflection would only ever have positive benefits. But as her seniority grew, she got more glimpses into the other parts of the project. And those prompted her to start asking questions about the true purpose of the technology. Questions which would turn out to have dire consequences, as we've seen. All right. A new life.
so that's Gabriel Kruger, a recording of Gabriel Kruger, um, gaslighting and brainwashing uh, Kate, or Kat, um, Faith's little sister, who she got separated from in the uh, Black November riots. Um, and who he raised as Isabel Kruger. What's your name? Kat. Oh, gaslighting. Poor girl. reflection as we find out God, that manipulation and brainwashing. Such a poor girl. Hello, Isabel. How did the test go today? Really well. I knew they would. You are their youngest student ever. Did you know that? There was another girl in class. She told me I shouldn't even be there because I was just a kid. But you showed her, didn't you? I sure did. She came in last in the sharpshooting test, and I won. That's my girl. So, Isabel. Turned her into his own little weapon. Here's Beatrix Block. Oh, wait, we hold on. Uh, it was the Pirandello? No, Cascadia? Yeah, Cascadia Logistics, Ursula Block. Beatrix Block, that's the chick that, um, that I ship with Faith. If you don't remember, uh, Beatrix ranks among the third uh, circle. Oh my God, ranks among the third circle of heirs in House Block. Bloke, whatever. <laughs> After prolonged negotiations, she has been promised in marriage to Peter Bryson, a second circle heir of House Bryson. Their relationship is devoid of love and is a purely corporate union intended to strengthen the ties between the houses. House Bloke stands to gain the most from the match since they currently have no seats on the conglomerate board. But as everyone knows, things might be very different next fiscal year. <coughs> Beatrix feels trapped in a cage in conven and of conventions and expectations. She nurtures secret dreams of escaping her betrothal and the city. But in reality, she would never dare give up the only life she knows, and part of her is all too happy to enjoy the privileges of being a house girl, third circle heir or not. She despises this about herself as much as she despises her lack of bravery. And there was a point in which she and Faith met and uh, hit it off quite well. And um, she and during towards the end of the game, she asked Faith to uh, uh, plant recording devices to catch her betrothed ch cheating on her so that she could annul their uh, their uh, dissolve their uh, agreement so that she could be free. And then there's Birdman. Birdman! 
Birdman was a runner long before it became a concept. When the Kruger Uprising started, he was 13 years old, and he became one of the unsung heroes um, of that rebellion, often working directly for Dieter Kruger, him, Kruger himself. The Civil War that followed saw him fight with the conspirators against Omnistat, but he often operated on his own, and his distaste for war and killing grew with every mission. Then the war ended, and Cascadia was formed, but Birdman was unable to return to his, normal, to his regular life. Instead, he ran. For Birdman, it became a natural way to get from A to B, running, leaping, and climbing, and doing it more out of an urge to stay on the move than for the joy of it. As the conglomerate began to reshape glass, he found other off-grids also living on the rooftops, and Birdman reluctantly shared with them his vast knowledge of the many hidden routes he, uh, he'd established. These days, he's stopped running, and he's content to feed and care for his pigeons, with with which he also provides a simple off-grid messenger service between the cities. Oh, I missed Birdman. Birdman was great. And then here's Isabel Kruger slash Caitlin Connors. Caitlin, most of the time called Cat, was barely five years old when she lost her parents and her older sister Faith Connors during the November riots. As such, had it oh my god as chance had it she was found critically injured by kruger sec and brought to gabriel kruger who decided on an unexpected whim to take the little girl in his in as his own in time he she forgot her real family and instead adopted the identity kruger gave her as his own daughter isabel she has next to no memories of her sister or her parents their face is long since forgotten or so she thinks <coughs> Mostly, she remembers certain emotions and smells, like the way her father would smell while lying on his back resting, and she crawled up on his chest to sleep. Or the deep joy felt when her big sister wanted to play, and the equally deep betrayal when waking up after the riots and realizing that Faith had left her. Isabel knows she is not Gabriel's biological child, but at the same time, her real parents and sister are but a vague memory. Kruger has instilled her with a deep contempt for those resisting the conglomerate, and yet she can't help but feel that something is wrong, and the society she is supporting is not a healthy one. Dogen. Dogen is the crime czar of glass, and his real name and murky origins are known only to himself. He specializes in black market goods and contraband, and his customers are found among the high and low. His... Oh my god. His network is extensive. My brain just kind of my, my brain just went dial tone for a brief second there. Uh, network is extensive, uh, especially among the more corrupt elements of the conglomerate, and many a security officer has at one time or another found herself indebted to Togan. Black November Sorry, looking at the time real quick. Black November are equally dependent on him, and though Rebecca Thane has, vow has vowed to shut his business down once the revolution is complete, she too cannot do without the services provided. Dogen happily plays all sides, and it's hard to tell what, if any, his ultimate objective might be. Some claim he's doing it all... Uh, he's doing it all only for the hell of it, aiding one corporation only to turn his back on them the next day if there's more money to be made. He can always be trusted to get a job done in that he's never failed, but he shows allegiance to nothing and no one but himself. Erica Connors. Oh, Faith's mother. I love her style. Erica was born and raised in the city of glass. Her parents old already when she was young. They grew up under Omnistat rule, and though they had misgivings about the direction new fledgling about the, the direction new fledgling nation of Cascadia was headed in was headed in, they claimed anything was better than the party and, and its dogmas. Erica's father was a physicist, and his mother a mathematician, and they managed to instill in their daughter a deep love of the natural sciences and informed discussion. Being old, they both passed away when Erica was in her late teens, but their, deg their, deg their legacy was a young woman with a sharply honed mind and an informed altruistic stance on the political shifts sweeping the country. She met Martin Connors while at, the, uh, while at the university, and only two years later, Faith was born. Not planned, but deeply loved all the same. In Martin, in Martin, 
Eric, oh my god, I wish they had commas. They do, but uh, in Martin, Erica had found a kindred spirit. He might have been the more socially adept and overtly passionate of the two, but deep down they were the same. As a mother, Erica was quite stern. Though she loved Caitlin and Faith to death, she believed the sternness was needed because of the tough times she was certain would come. She also saw Faith turn into quite the little rebel. And though Erica endorsed free thinking and a healthy distrust of authority, she didn't want her daughter to become completely wayward. She never wanted to bring the kids along to the protest rally on that fateful day in November, but they couldn't find a babysitter, and Martin wanted his daughters to be part of what they would what would surely be a historical event. Let's go down to Martin Connors. Ooh, I like his style too. A little bit of a badass there. <coughs> Martin was born in the same year Omnistat was, was dissolved. The son of two renowned musicians who had miraculously survived both the purges and the Civil War. Growing up in a musical home, it was no surprise that he showed an early aptitude for the piano and composing. And though the fledgling, na fledgling nation <clears throat> of Cascadia had little to offer in terms of musical education, his parents made sure to nurture his talent while also instilling him with a deep sense of social responsibility. They had both been active on the Kruger upri in the Kruger Uprising, though they had tried to advocate a more peaceful approach, and those same ideals were transformed into Martin, who took an early stance against the growing corporatism in Cascadia. When Erica... Uh, he met Erica while attending the first Cascadian University in Liberta, or Liberta, or li whatever... And their love was both certain and instant. And then Faith and Caitlin were born, and his life changed profoundly. He wanted his beauty. Oh my God, English! He wanted his beloved daughters to grow up in a truly democratic society where people were the masters of their own destinies. Hold on, just a second. Where people were the masters of their own destinies. His daughters inspired him. Uh, to start performing his music in public, and Martin fast became the figurehead of a growing anti-corporate movement, a position he would keep until his tragic premature death in the November riots. Faith Connors, the badass that she is. Faith was, was seven years old on the day of, no of the November riots and barely got away alive, saved by Noah Kakai, a friend of her parents. He became her adopted father, adoptive english adoptive father raising her on the rooftops far above the city and inspiring her though that wasn't his intent to become a runner <clears throat> he has made sure to keep her out of the conflict between the black november resistance movement and the conglomerate and and faith has adopted his neutral stance into her own Though deeply scarred by the loss of her family, Faith has grown to become a self-assured, even cocky young woman, a thrill seeker. She see she, a thrill seeker. She runs more for the kick of it than for the money it pays. But deep down, she knows that her current way of life can't last, and that one day she'll be forced to take a real stand against the conglomerate. Gabriel Kruger. Icarus. Noah Kakai. No. Okay. Um. Let's do this one over here. I thought I'd document our trip like a diary for our bond eventually to build up. She's doing much better already. Yeah, but she's still very weak. I don't expect her to remember much of the journey. We're almost done with the supply list. Firebird's still looking into transportation. We'll need a dependable vehicle. You're right. And I didn't expect that part to be easy. Maybe Black November can help out. I'd rather have as little to do with them as possible. We got the guns. That's more than enough. I'm gonna check on Avani. Let me know when the supplies are done. Got it. Here, look. It's a recorder. I'm making a diary of sorts for you of our trip. Are we leaving soon? I feel better. We are, but it's a long road to Aurora, and we need to prepare properly so that we don't just end up stranded and starving in the Greylands. I wonder if it's really that terrible out there. To be honest, Avani, it's probably worse. But we're going to be fine. What are we going to do when we get to Aurora? What we do here. We'll run. 
and you'll run too, so it's better there. Anywhere is better than glass. I look forward to it. I'm gonna be as good as you someday. You'll be better than me. Hey, what happened to that girl who was here? The one with the tattoo around her eye? She was fat too, right? Her name is Faith. She... Kruger suck took her. Uh, that's too bad. She seemed nice. Well, it's time for you to get some more rest, young lady. I'll come check on you again soon. Oh, they were friends of Faith's. In fact, Celeste, I think Celeste was the name of the friend who betrayed Faith in the OG game. The uh, the original game, the one that was rebooted into this. That thing on? Yes. All right. Just so I know when my words are being immortalized. Well, I wouldn't go that far. We found a vehicle, or rather Firebird found us a vehicle. She's finalizing the deal tomorrow. It'll be the rest of our script. That's okay. We got the supplies, right? We do, but I'm not comfortable with us having no margins whatsoever. This always was a desperate venture. You know that. Yeah. Oh, by the way, did you hear? That girl, Faith, who took the vaccine? What about her? They locked her up in juvie. One year sentence. One year? That's not so bad. Someone looked to pull the strings. Yeah, someone powerful. Anyone else would have gotten a one-way ticket to the gray land. Or just a bullet in the head. No, Avani needs to hear the bad stuff too when the time comes. Now tell me what he said. The bastard raised the price. He wants 20% more due to increased risk, he says. Damn. I should have expected this. I'll talk to him. Work out some kind of trade. Yeah, it just so happens that he asked for exactly that. Said he had a job for us, which would be enough to pay our dues. All right, let's work it out then. Does Trine and Firebird know? Uh, we can update them later. Better get this done before I lose my nerve. I never thought I'd do runs for Dogen. Did you know Faith was working for him when she was captured? At least that's the word on the beat. Yeah? That would explain a few things. It would. Let's go. Okay, Ivani. This is the last recording I'm making here in Glass. In a few minutes, we're meeting up with our guide who will take us out of the city into a small hamlet in the Greylands. There, we'll get our vehicle and start the long drive to Aurora and what I hope will be a better life for us all. You're sleeping next to me right now. Already looking so much healthier than you did just a few weeks ago. The vaccine really seems to work. You should know that I had to do a run for Dogen for us to be able to leave. You don't know who he is yet, but one day I'll tell you about him. A very dangerous man, and a strange one too. Aurora will be better. I know it in my heart. Even with Omnistat just across the river, it will be better. Glass is rotten. A vile city breeding vile people. Something bad is about to happen here. I'm sure of it. It's like there's, there's something in the air. Something's building up. But it doesn't matter. We won't be around when it happens. I'll be teaching you how to run. And one day, you'll be faster than me. Celeste? We're ready. Okay, Avani. Wake up. It's time to go. All right. Oh, man. I really hope that they make another one continuing this storyline because I love this world and this fiction and this story so much. Gabriel Kruger is a direct descendant of Dieter Kruger, leader of the Kruger uprising that began... Uh, the path to Cascadia's formation. He, but through, oh my God! But though he has inherited his ancestors' zeal and vast intellectual capacity, it hasn't come with the best with with the basic faith in humanity uh, that Dieter exhibited. Gabriel is convinced that what he's doing is for the best of the conglomerate, Cascadia, and its inhabitants. And he is well aware that some hard sacrifices are needed to ensure that the conglomerate rules supreme and that House Kruger rules the conglomerate. His son, a regular police officer, was killed in the initial outbreak in, of the November riots. Which, from what we've seen in flashbacks, may have been young Faith who killed him. Um, because we see a... In the flashbacks that we throughout the course of the game, 
uh, we see her picking up a gun, aiming at a Kruger sec police officer, a gunshot going off, and then we see the dead body. And Faith was protecting her sister, thought she was protecting her sister and stuff. Um... Gabriel learned of the death only moments after it happened, and his deep contempt of the protesters and their naive ideals turned into bitter hatred. He has since spent his life advancing Kruger Sec and finalizing the Reflection Project, of which he is one of the founders. He has also taken great pains to raise his daughter, Isabel, to one day assume the heavy mantle of leadership, and, in, and insofar as he is able to love anyone, it would be her. Icarus. When Icarus was 17, he spotted a runner from his bedroom window. I think we've read this one. Uh, two, days, two days later, he snuck out of the apartment, a small rucksack strapped to his back, and dead set on becoming a runner himself. Life on the rooftops has never been easy, but Icarus is a fast learner, and he soon made a name for himself as a fast, safe, and dependable player. He is counted among the very best, second only to Faith Connors. Noah took him into the Cabal while Faith was in prison, and the two have developed a close bond. Like Faith, Icarus runs mainly for the thrill of it, and every day he revels in his life, in this life, which is very different than the one originally staked out for him. But unlike Faith, <clears throat> unlike Faith, he is not very impulsive. And, and his, oh my god, and his skill comes from careful calculation rather than brash risk taking. He detects, detests being compared to her, and he decided long ago to not let her tarnish his reputation once he once she was out of juvie. We read Martin Connors. Noah Kakai. An early walker and late talker, Noah ran everywhere all the time. As soon as his growing body would allow as soon as his oh my god. As soon as his growing body would allow, he began climbing as well, to the great distress of his parents, who gave up trying to rein him in. His father was killed in the Triumvirate War, and his mother went into a prolonged depression, which resulted in Noah being shuffled around among friends and relatives for many years. Some were willing to take him, while others were downright abusive. This fostered a nomadic nature and a deep distrust of authority in the young Noah. And the distrust soon grew to encompass all of society. He spotted the corporate encroachment early and eventually found others who shared his sentiments. Among them were Martin and Erica Con uh, Connors, and the three of them forged a deep and lasting friendship. And then came the November riots, where Noah lost his closest friends and suddenly found himself with a child to raise. Disillusioned with the struggle and the general populace, he took to the rooftops where he established an informal... Oh my god. An informal burglary. Oh my god, I lost my spot. Informal burglary and messaging service, often employed by the corporate houses in their constant infighting. Blaming the ongoing conflict bet uh, between Black November and the conglomerate for the deaths of his closest friends, Noah has vowed never to take sides again, and he has done his best to transfer the same neutrality onto faith. Nomad doesn't know when he was born, nor does he care. He, w he has concocted a story for himself that his dad left before he was born and that his mother, of whom he has no recollection, took care of him alone during his toddler years, but was then killed in the November riots. He has vague memories of other adults, of running away and being brought back, but whether by the authorities or someone else, he can't recall. All he knows is that by the time he saw other kids going to school, he was already living on the streets, hustling his way among the outcast of glass. An avid graffiti artist, Nomad's profound hatred of the conglomerate form a common theme for his works. In addition to his painting, he also found a way to hack into and subvert the giant advertisement projections to show the true nature of the conglomerate. But for those endeavors, he usually needs Faith's help. He met her for the first time almost 10 years ago, and though he would never admit it openly, he has more or less adopted her to be his big uh, be the big sister he has he oh my god, he never had. True to his name, he has never settled and is always a little restless, with his roaming nature talking him to 
taking him to both the high and low places of glass. He knows much about where to go and who to talk to, and though he's not a runner himself, he fits well into their extended community. Plastic, AKA the best. The absolute fucking best. Someone once said that Plastic's brain operates in pure binary code. Plastic herself scoffs at this, knowing full well that she left binary thinking behind when she was five. I love her. Now she operates on a quantum level and is and it's questionable whether the computers can keep up. To her, they are tools through which she molds code like clay, forming and shaping it according to her whims and fancies. Never one for social interaction. Plastic leads a hidden existence in the bowels of the city, getting on, uh, getting by on doing jobs for everyone without claiming any particular allegiance. She takes only the hardest assignments, her fee high enough that even some corporate houses would think twice before consulting her. But if a job intrigues her in any way, she might, uh, she might well, uh, very well do it for free, just to learn something new. Um, I love plastic. She's the best. Um, I'm going to take a break. I need to run to the bathroom. Um, and it's almost 3.30. So it would be a uh, good time to uh, take a break. So uh, I'll be back in a bit.
hold on. Ah, wrong buttons. Ah! Game, come back. There you are. Okay. Give me just a second while I finish this uh, Discord message. Um... Okay. All right. Let's hear about the Connors equation. And so I'm forced to rule out that option. Maybe if... Did you read? I had breakfast. That was nine hours ago, Erica. Nine hours? Damn. Sorry, but I'm so close. It's like the answer is there. If I could just... How are the girls? I, uh, took them over to Noah. It's just you and me and that amazing brain of yours here. I don't know. I don't feel very amazing. What if I'm chasing a pipe dream? Hey, you're not. How can you be so sure? I just am. The work you're doing will change Cascadia forever. Will change the world forever. Maybe. Oh, if I ever manage to complete this damn algorithm. Hey, hey, you will. But first, we need a break. They're so cute. Did you talk to Rebecca? Yeah, she was kind of upset with Noah. Isn't she always? What was it this time? He's worried about the rally. Apparently, a friend of his at Kruger Sec told him they're planning a massive presence. Why? Should we cancel? No, we can't. Look, if we let them scare us, we'll never accomplish anything. Enough about that. I'll sort things out between Noah and Rebecca later. How's the work coming along? Good. But I'm not sure I can keep it hidden from my lead much longer. I met with Rebecca yesterday. She was acting cagey about something. Wouldn't tell me what. What is she up to now? I met with Rebecca yesterday. She was acting cagey about something. Wouldn't tell me what. What is she up to now? You really shouldn't have to spend so much time worrying about what your friends are doing. She bought a gun. She did what? And she's bringing it to the rally, just in case. She's going to provoke somebody, and someone will get hurt. Krugersek doesn't fool around. Well, it'll be okay. I think I convinced her not to bring it. I'm more concerned about her new friends. They listen a little too intently to what she's saying. This isn't about violence. That's the one thing we want to stay away from if we want to keep the moral high ground. The corporations need to see that there are a lot of us who refuse to accept them directing Cascadia's future. Erica Connors, research log 128. It's done. And it will work. I know it will. I've run the simulations more than a hundred times and the results are consistent. This is it. But how to proceed from here? Any corporation that gets its corrupt hands on it will only bury it deep down where it cannot disrupt the power structure they're so carefully erecting. Oh, and oh boy, will it disrupt it. It will destroy it. I'm going to have to encrypt it somehow. Representatives from both Sylvine and Everdyne are already asking troubling questions. I think they suspect that I'm onto something, though they don't know the half of it. Maybe if I... Might. Hey, so are we gonna celebrate or what? The girls are 
are waiting. Faith is climbing the wall. I mean, literally. I'm Aww. sure she is. I'll be along in a minute. Just need to finish a train of thought here. You're thinking about how to hide it, aren't you? Oh, boy. Seems like we have a little emergency. Come out when you're ready. Oh. Girls, is everybody ready? Faith? Cat? Cat, did you put your shoes on? Yes. Okay, girls. Wait for us outside. Me and Daddy are coming in a minute. Is everything okay? You seem nervous. <sighs> Noah's been on my back for days. He wants to call it off. I'm not sure. I mean, he always worries, but this time he's really on edge. It'll be all right. Your speech is great. And it's not like you'll be saying anything the authorities don't already know. Oh, I know, I know. And that's the thing. I mean, you're right. I can feel it. Things will improve. We just need to get people to hear the message. Then the corporation won't be able to stop us. I hope so. A girl shouldn't have to grow up in the world we're heading toward now. Are you coming or what? Yes, Faith, we're coming. We are. Oh. Come on, let's go. Oh. All right. <clears throat> Rebecca Thane. Once, she was an aggressive idealist and proponent of workers' rights and social justice. But after losing many friends in the November riots, Rebecca Thane became a, a woman driven purely by revenge, always prone to rash, de rash decisions. She, has, uh, she had advocated early on that the protest movement should employ violent means against the government and the corporations. In this, she was opposed by the other movement leaders, Noah Kakai, Excuse me, and Faith's parents especially. And during those early days, for her calls for decisive action went unheeded. But then, the Connors were killed during the riots. Noah took to the rooftops, and only Rebecca was left to lead the remains of those protesting against the authorities. She has since formed Black November, an organization dedicated to bringing down the conglomerate using any and all means available. Their hardcore stance is that there are no innocent civilians in this struggle, and that anyone not fighting the conglomerate is indirectly supporting it. Therefore, they are all vi viable targets. The general population Rebecca considers to be sheep, unable to govern themselves, and as their self-appointed shepherd, she intends to lead the flock to greener pastures. It's a long, hard road, and if some are lost on the way, so be it. The Downtown of Glass, an excerpt from A Visitor's Guide to Glass. It was decided early on that the refurbishing of downtown should respect the atmosphere of the old city center. This has led to the district having an above average building density and narrower streets with the most part, oh my god, which for the most part have been allowed to retain their original layout. The result is a humble nod to the bygone days of yore, which is which still allows downtown to stand as the proud modernized center of glass. Here you'll find a slew of fashionable boutiques, and it is not uncommon for the privileged privileged denizens of Sky City to come to downtown looking for that little extra something not available in their own district. And with the constant rise and fall of the latest food trends, you might very well find yourself having dinner next to a young couple hailing from the corporate houses. <coughs> Excuse me. Areas of, uh, areas of note. Zephyr Station, Triumvirate Drive, Concord Plaza, Centurion Yards, and Charter Hill. Anchor. Excerpt from Visitor's Guide to Glass. The Anchor District is one of the main commercial and entertainment areas in Glass. Though, Sky City residents tend to keep to themselves and not mingle with the regular employees. Some, and especially the young, make frequent visits to the Anchor. They come for shopping and clubbing at the most popular nightclubs in the city, including the fabled Sloth, where only the very select elite is allowed entrance. Employees of all castes can satisfy every material need imaginable at the Anansi Emporium or the Pirandello Bazaar. 
Here, they'll find everything from the rarest of imports to the most common consumer goods. And if you're looking for a new set of wheels, the Bryson, Sh Bryson Showroom showcases the latest uh, in automotive design. It might be that all of these locations will be surpassed by the magnific magnificence magnificence of the soon to be opened bobble mall but we suggest that you come and judge for yourself areas of note shimmering heights crystal valley eden village and the bobble mall if i remember correctly the bobble mall was the place that blew up during the storyline develop development zone g excerpt from a visitor's guide to glass Development Zone G is one of the few remaining district being, districts being refurbished by CC Corp. And though the area is off limits, the curious might catch a glimpse from one of the surrounding buildings. It might very well be worth a look to renew your understanding of conglomerate policy with regards to the Omnistat years. Development Zone G reminds us all why we decided to eradicate the horror of those dark days. Rumor has it that a vast tunnel system from the Omnistat days remained below the development zone, but these rumors have been vehemently denied by Krugersek. Note, the development zone is off limits to all employees not belonging to, a, to CC Corp and in possession of a valid zone employee pass. Unauthorized access is grounds for contract termination. Uh, development zone is that construction area that uh, you go through to get to uh, the Black November base. The Omnistat tunnels, which is the tunnels you go through after you go through the development zone. The conglomerate has been hard at work eradicating all traces of Omnistat, of Omnistat English, in the major cities, and in glass especially. It is, a general, it is a generally held belief that the November riots were inspired by Omnistat ideals, another lie seeded by the conglomerate. And so the mid-cast employees clamored for the removal of anything reminding them of those bygone years. But what few people know is that below glass lies the remnants of a vast tunnel complex, once part of a gigantic Omnistat desalination plant. And while CC Corps has been busy reshaping the city above little has been done about what lies beneath nobody knows the full extent of this subterranean network all entrances are off limits to regular employees excuse me and even kruger sec personnel tend to stay away instead the, these cavernous tunnels have become a refuge for all sorts of outcasts and black november has set up a base somewhere deep inside excuse me the view Excerpt from a Visitor's Guide to Glass. <clears throat> An affluent residential area dedicated to upwardly mobile employees. Ocean Glass View, or The View, is by many considered to be the final step before getting invited to Sky into Sky City. Much of The View has been sponsored by Sylvine Systems, who also count the majority of its workforce as residents. And the district was designed from the ground up to be a quiet area dedicated to ambitious employees on the rise. If you're looking to get away from the commotion and intensity of downtown or the anchor, the view is well worth a visit. Here you can walk along the serene streets or the seaside promenade where those with a nautical interest should, play a, uh, should pay a visit to the marina. On free days, it is not uncommon to see families picnicking in the open or improving their tans on the nearby beach while their children play in the surf areas of note the ocean pier regatta bay and kruger sec hq uh, where's the map there's the map okay so just to help you all out a little bit uh so zephyr transit hub Triumvirate Drive, Charter Hill, Centurion Yards, Concord Plaza. That's all more or less downtown. There's the development zone over here. Shimmering Heights, Crystal Valley. Oops. Uh, Eden Village. I believe those three are the view. No, this is the view. I believe Eden Village, Crystal Valley, and Shimmering Heights. I think that's the anchor. I think this is downtown 
maybe this is the anchor. Oh, this is the anchor. Oh wait, no, it says, it says up here. Okay. Uh, yes, downtown, Concord Plaza, Centurion Yards, Charter Hill, Triumvirate Drive, Zephyr Transit Hub. Those are all downtown. Developmental zone is rezoning outcast uh, area. Uh, Shimmering Heights, Crystal Valley, and Eden Village are all the anchor. And then Ocean Pier, Regatta Bay, those are all uh, the view. Okay. Back to Intel. All right. Sky City and the Shard. Excerpt from a visitor's guide to glass. Sky City is a promise, a dream made manifest. It stands as as a true paradise and represents the latest in architectural achievement built on a vast artificial island sky city forms the base from which the shard tapers off into the clouds 30,000 people call sky city home and living here is reserved for the few employees willing and capable to rise all the way to the top it stands as a physical representation of the promise made to every single cascadian employee work hard and you will be rewarded Note, Sky City is closed to the general public and only residents, authorized service personnel, and visitors possessing a valid visitor's pass are allowed entry. To obtain a visitor's pass, you must provide a corporate house sponsor. Unauthorized access is grounds for contract termination. Areas of note, Arrivals Atrium and the Shard. And so that's basic. We basically the only time we've ever been to the Sky City and the Shard was at the end of the game in that final mission where we climbed to the very, very top highest point in the entire city. Uh, all right, let's do some more of these. Paths diverged. So Nanda, who said, told Dolgan she loves her, or he, he uh, she loves him, uh, was is apparently working for Rebecca Thane. What do you have for me? Not much yet. I can confirm that they're working on a special project. One entire floor in the agricultural department is off limits to most of us. Like we thought. That means that three of the big corporations are in on this, whatever it is. I'm doing my best to ingratiate myself with my section lead, but I doubt I'll get access anytime soon. Hmm, maybe we can get you access some other way. I'll talk to some people. Continue as before. Mouse? Where's my mouse? Okay, we've already listened to that one. I just wanted you to know why I've stayed away lately. Uh, Actually, hold on a second. Um, I'm going to turn off my camera real quick and mute myself, uh, but I will be right back. But I'm going to let this play. I just wanted you to know why I've Oops. I turned off the wrong thing. Sorry. There we go. Not 
dangerous. Well, rather, he's very dangerous, but not to me. He loves me. And that's part of the problem. You know I love you, and we'll be together again soon. I just need to get him off my trail first, and for that to happen, I need to stay beneath the radar for a while. He's probably got you pegged already, and, and that's fine. But that's also why I can't tell you where I am right now. And she can't know either. She must never know that me and him are connected. So please don't say anything. Stay safe. And we'll see each other again soon. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. <laughs> The Omnistat years. Out of the great regression rose Omnistat. Inspired by tales of ancient utopias and classless societies where every citizen had equal value and production was owned and shared by all, Omnistat quickly swallowed up the majority of the isolated settlements and surviving cities, sometimes peacefully, sometimes not. Some... Some refused to acknowledge the Omnistat way of life and resisted to the bitter end, causing much strife and paranoia. Progress was still made, though. Ancient, ancient ideas were rediscovered and new technology developed. Slowly but inexorably, civil, uh, ci uh, ci the best, civil <laughs> civilization began to restore itself after the limbo of the regression, and the Omnistat cities grew fast as people abandoned the smaller settlements and migrated to the urbanized areas. Some of the Greylands that had been blasted in the old wars were recultivated with varying success, and the population grew considerably. The Kruger Uprising The Krugers were one of the ancient families. They had survived the wars and the regression, retaining their pride and even some of their gathered knowledge. When Omnistat rose to power, they accepted its rule, making sure to secure important positions within the party as it grew. But they never truly accepted the philosophy Omnistat was founded on. And as the decades passed, the Kruger family began plotting drastic change, believing that for civilization to truly move forward, a radically different society had to be formed, one based on free enterprise and in oh my god, and individual achievement. Concepts that were anath anathema. What does that word mean? I don't think I've ever actually heard that word or read that word. Anathema. Anathema. Something or someone that one vehemently dislikes. A formal curse by a pope or a council of the church, excommunicating a person or denouncing a doctrine. Obviously, they mean that first one. Something or someone that someone that one vehemently dislikes. Huh. Fascinating. Uh, wary of betrayal, the Krugers still managed to gather a few other families to their cause. Some were prominent party members, and others important 
and others important contributors to society overall. The Brysons, Malice, and Wanderborn Fairchilds all rallied behind the Krugers, and when the time was right, they helped light the flames of rebellion all over Omnistat. The Civil War. The Kruger Uprising co coincided with a widespread famine, which made many citizens more than ready to join the cause. Fed up as they were with the secret police, the party elite, and the stifling political teachings, decades of accumulated hate and frustration helped turn the flames into a conflagration far more devastating than the, con than the conspirators had planned, and soon enough, Omnistat was torn apart in a bitter civil, civil war. The fighting lasted for years, and the Krugers were forced to acknowledge that theirs was not the only vision of, a of an ideal society. There were others who saw the turbulent times as an opportunity to set up their own assemblies. And when the dust eventually settled, three nations formed from the ashes of what was once the most powerful civilization on the planet. The largest part would still be Omnistat and remain under party rule second largest was to become Cascadia, shaped by the families supporting the initial, initial Kruger uprising. Finally, there was Sabaeus, Sabius, a theocracy founded on a religious text of obscure origins. The fighting also caused many bitter losses, among them Dieter Kruger, head of the Kruger family, and an inspired altruistic visionary who had who, had he lived, might have had a profound effect on what was to come. Cascadia founded. <clears throat> a fragile and tentative peace was agreed upon and borders drawn up, but the obvious enmity between Cascadia and Omnistat remained a severe threat to the conference. And had it not been for skillful negotiation and negotiating by Sabius clerics who... Uh, the whole initiative would have failed and the war started anew. But in the end, everything was settled into the Neridian Concord, and the representatives withdrew to rebuild all that had been lost. It had been Dieter Kruger's vision to create a nation founded on democratic principles, individuality, and personal initiative. But with Dieter's demise, Cascadia's founding was off to a flawed start, as the other major families had more selfish intentions. The con Constitution stipulated voting rights for citizens of a certain standing and free elections of a president and an assembly to govern the nation. But with voting rights curtailed from the outset, the first steps down the road to tyranny had already been taken. The Triumvirate War the Cascadian Constitution not only dictated how the, con the oh my God not only dictated how the country should be governed, it also included the corporate charter, allowing anyone to start an enterprise and nurture it to prosperity. The charter too was flawed from the outset, though, since little thought was given to regulatory statutes governing competition and unfair practices. Also, the families leading the uprising made sure to secure the main industries and nat uh, natural resources early on, giving them a vast head start. Everything was closely watched by Omnistat, whose ideals were diametrically opposed to Cascadia's, and to no one's surprise, they made a surprise attack on both Cascadia and Sabius only a few years after the birth of the new nations. The Triumvirate War lasted for two years and mainly consisted of an endless string of intense border skirmishes. The conflict was ended only after an uneasy alliance formed between Cascadia and Sabius, or Sabaeus. Um, and since then, a ceasefire has been in effect between the three nations, though no official peace agreement has been signed. Rise of the Corporate Houses a deep fear and hatred of Omnistat and the party drove a nationwide initiative to eradicate the old and rebuild anew. All memories of the Omnistat era were to be destroyed and, their, and in their place new symbols were to be er erected. English. English! Celebrating freedom and the original 12 families leading the uprising. Within a decade, those same families controlled about 80, almost 80% of the free market, and their dominance kept growing. 
the Cascadian Assembly struggled to create laws that would limit corporate influence. But with most assemblymen belonging to one of the families, the laws remained toothless. Hold on just a second. Okay. The families became known as the corporate houses. Their dominance grew, and eventually they became the true rulers of Cascadia in all but name, having banded together to form a joint conglomerate. However, wise... However, wise from the Omnistat era, they were careful to seem inclusive to the general populace, and stories abounded about regular citizens climbing the corporate ladder to achieve the same level of affluence as the corporate house members. The November Riots The growing affluence of the increasingly uh, complacent mid-caste was completely dependent on the low-caste, whose access to healthcare, schooling, and other services was severely limited, bordering on non-existent. Many were, for many were forced to live in the Greylands, where the corporations ran their enormous factories, food domes, and mines, and life there was short and hard. Work hard uh, workplace accidents were common. Oh my god. Workplace accidents were common, as were cancers and other sicknesses caused by the toxic Greyland conditions. Tensions grew, and moments formed movements formed and fell apart until one of them based on pacifistic ideals took root and grew steadily it found its strongest supporter in glass where it f had also been founded by martin con by martin con where it had also been founded by martin connors a charismatic and popular musician things were brought to a head on a chilly november day when the largest demonstration to date was held Thousands marched to the Zephyr Transit Hub, where they gathered to listen to speeches and political songs. But something went terribly wrong. Shots were fired, and within moments, the peaceful gathering had turned into a rioting stampede. Hundreds were killed and thousands wounded. For three days, the riots raged, unabated, and glass burned. Martin and Erica Connors and their daughter, Caitlin, were among those killed. Except we know Caitlin wasn't. She was taken in and became Isabel Kruger. The conglomerate seizes power. <coughs> among, <coughs> excuse me, among the general popul. Oh my God! <coughs> excuse me. I am so sorry. <coughs> among the general populace, and especially the mid caste, there was an outrage at the protesters and the damage and deaths they had caused. The conglomerate made sure to also point to the weak assembly and their ineptness in handling the volatile situation. Laws were passed forbidding large gatherings and protests, further strengthening the conglomerate. <laughs> The measures taken by the assembly proved to be too, too little too late, though, when the uh, conglomerate declared the assembly unfit to rule the nation. Only a vocal minority opposed it. Those who did soon disappeared, and so the conglomerate came to rule Cascadia. Glass was chosen to become a symbol of conglomerate greatness. The refurbishing was accelerated and immense resources spent on making glass a pristine bastion of conglomerate power. Tri uh, trumped only by Cascadia Prime, the capital where the conglomerate board resides. And that's all of the, doc uh, the reading documents. One hand clapping. This wasn't supposed to happen, Mother. He promised me one thing and delivered something else entirely. Who did? The one I told you about. Dogen. You went to see Dogen after I explicitly told you not to. Henry told me I could trust him. Henry is an idiot. I don't know what to do. Of course you don't, Christian. Tell me what happened. From the beginning, mind? And that's about it. So what does Henry say about the situation? I haven't been able to get a hold of him for two days. If Dogen is involved, don't count on ever talking to him again. What am I supposed to do? I'm scared. You should be. <clears throat> I'll talk to some people on the board, but I can't guarantee anything. My pull isn't as strong as it used to be. And your recent endeavors haven't exactly helped, either. Oof. Call Dogen. Yes. It better be important. This is my private connection. Okay. It seems like it is not. I'll talk to you later then, Christian. No, wait! Yes. I want to talk to you about... 
situation. The situation. You amuse me. We need to find a way to resolve this. You screwed me over, Dogen. Ah, yes. Your friend, Henry, felt the same way. Have you spoken to him recently? Thank you for following, Eric on laptop. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Another follow. I don't think you are able to. Please. Don't do anything rash, son. Thank you for the follow, uh, Rhea Darf. Holy crap. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Hello. My and welcome. Tell me you never showed up at Sloth, Christian. This is a great disappointment to me. I expect people to deliver on their commitments. I have this line. Dogan's got style, man. Okay, Tristan, the scrambler is active now. They might listen to what we say, but they'll have no way of locating us. Wonderful. How long will it last? We have a few minutes. The scrambler will alert us if we're being geolocated. It's new tech. I had the Wonderkin and Anchor build it, but I had to use a proxy. She won't deal with us directly. The Paysec is busy on the rooftops these days, and I guess she doesn't want the extra attention. She'll come around. Speaking of busy, the information about the Elysium job checked out. Somebody broke in. I must have stolen something really important, too, considering the buzz all over town. Any idea what? None yet. I'll look into it, and whoever pulled the job off. I miss you, Rebecca. Jesus. I miss you, too. Be safe, Tristan. Okay, I'm here, Tristan. <sighs> nice hearing your voice again. How are things below? Some days I miss the sun so much. Yeah, well, I don't see much of it, to be honest. Kruger's like a scouring the rooftops looking for whoever pulled the Elysium job. Finding information is hard. Anything? I've had some luck. Seems like one of your old friends set it up. Noah? Yes, but he didn't send Icarus this time. That kid he raised, Faith, is out of juvie. She did the run. I don't understand. It all smells of the kind of thing Noah would never touch. Maybe Faith didn't know that. Well, she always was headstrong. I'll try to get in touch with them. See if they'll tell us more. Thank you, Tristan. Be safe, my love. They're talking about the uh, the heist that was at the start of the game. <clears throat> this guy is up here. I was on my way to see Noah when it happened. What happened? The raid in the lair, Rebecca. I've never seen so many Krugers back in one spot. Not since the November riots. Oh, no. Noah? I wouldn't get my hopes up. Did you see Faith? Or Icarus? I don't think they were there. If they're still alive, they'll be distraught. Noah was like a father to them both. I'll contact Icarus and offer them sanctuary. And you avoid Kasek. I don't want to lose you to this. Sister. Now, Noah, it would break anyone. Yeah. 
You know, there are times when I doubt what we're doing. Is it worth it? Really? Of course it is, my love. This nation breaks everybody in the end. Everybody but us. We must not allow any doubt. The employees might not understand or accept it, but we are all they have. Things will change, Tristan. We will change them. This is where we used to talk. Where we used to make love. Awkward. The only place we could call our own. We had to snatch moments where we could. This world doesn't tolerate love. There is no room for it anymore. That's just one of the things you took away from us. Sometimes when I think of you, it's as if my whole body fills up with nothing but the blackest of hate. But I don't want to be like this, but it's what you turned me into, Kruger. I didn't have much, but at least I had Tristan. He was my light. Something to cling to when the world became too suffocating. And now you've taken him too, leaving me with nothing but this damn hate. But I know you're listening, and I promise you this, Kruger. You will feel my loss. I will take everything away from you. I will leave nothing. Do you hear me, Kruger? Nothing! When I am done, people in Cascadia won't even dare remember your name, except in secret moments of shame, when they think back on the wrath you brought down on them. I will make you pay for what you've done. To us! To me! So while we never met Tristan, um, it's implied that he died in the, uh in the retribution that came for them ca uh, capturing Isabel Kruger. Hey, Queen! Glad to see you. Glad to see you. Good good that you're... Wa I'm glad you were able to watch. Um, thanks for popping in uh, on Discord and messaging me. Um, cool, 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 cool. Welcome, welcome. How's, how's everybody's day been? How, how's everybody's day been? Everybody been behaving themselves and having fun and all that shit? Yeah, I saw that you met I saw you message about that in the uh in our group chat, Queen. Um how'd that go? If you want to run for me, there are a few rules you have to follow. The first of which is you never pick a fight with Kruger sack. I know. Oops.
Oof. Well, fun. Good. You told security. That's good. That's good. I'm glad. <clears throat> You're looking at that picture again. Yeah? I, I just don't get it. She messed everything up. You weren't here. I know you get all sad when you look at that picture. And I don't understand why. Well, maybe it's not for you to understand, but... Just to accept. Why? If any of us here had done what she did, you'd have us thrown out on our butts. I did throw her out. And I was wrong. I know. Because she's Faith, right? No, no, listen to me. Listen, okay? You can't cut a grid link like that without them noticing. This will bring them down on us. I thought you said we shouldn't mess with Kruger's face. This is different. It's Faith. The fabled Faith. Best runner in class. Who messed up everything for everyone around her. Yeah. Outrun any Kruger sec that tries to follow her. If she's so fast, how come she got caught in the first place? She's better than I ever was. Oh, really? Oh, come on. Don't start. Okay, okay, I guess we're getting her out. So, what do I need to do? And that goes into the start of the game. And that's all of the documents and stuff, y'all. That's all the extended lore to the game. There's the shard. Still smoking from the explosion from the uh, Black November attack. Oops, wrong button. Come on. Now we only have about half an hour of the stream left. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna stream the whole half an hour. Nor do I know if, um, you know, if anything like that. Um, I might swap games, actually. Because we've officially and oh, damn. Oh, that was almost bad. Because we've officially completed all of Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Um... And, uh... Yeah. I don't know what I'll just change it to, though. Hit 
death. Um, I don't know what I'd play for half an hour. No, I'd probably if I didn't if I. Oh God, failure. <laughs> Uh, if I changed game, if I did anything, I'd probably just end the stream half an hour early, you know? There we go. Yeah, I think I am actually going to end the stream about half an hour early. I know you just got here, queen, but you know. It is what it is. Architecture is so beautiful. Look at it all. Another follow. Hmm. Thank you for the follow. Assuming you're not a bot. Oh, look at it. Imagine waking up to that view. Oh, wait, hold on. There's something I'm going to do. Real quick. This oh, wrong one. I want this one. Reflection quality up to ultra. Texture quality up to ultra, uh, to hyper, not ultra, hyper. Oh, I need to restart the game for the changes to take effect. Damn. Oh, well. Oh, well. Actually, you know what? No. Let's, let's see this view as it should be. Just a second. You know? We'll see. While this is doing that, I will be right back.
sorry about that. Thank you for bearing with me. Uh, let's, all right. So I've restarted the game up to the uh, graphics to the max um, settings. So let's see how this looks, huh? Oh man, look at that. Not much in the way of difference, but it's still beautiful. You know? It's my old friend. <laughs> okay. Now, where am I? Right here. Okay. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to climb the shard again. Fuck it. Let's replay the mission. Let's replay that uh that mission, the the shard. At least the part of it will climbing to the top, you know? Cuz that is one of the genuinely best views in the game. It's struggling to load because of the graphics settings. Welcome back, Yvonne. Uh, you didn't miss much. Uh, you missed all of the lore dumps. The entirety of the lore dump. All the extended lore and everything. And... What Plastic is saying is that she's managed to access a bunch of news drones. And now I'm use I'm, uh, replaying the final mission of the game. Looks like they're evacuating. Only a few on the best graphic settings the game has. Um, basically, I'm replaying the final mission for the last 20-ish minutes of my stream uh, so that we can get... Uh, to see how high up the shard we can get uh, before the stream ends. Yeah. But you missed, like, all of the document reading, all of the audio recordings, the whole thing. You missed it all. Oops. There. Going up. And here we go. So now they know I'm here. They were already at high alert following the bombing. They'd shoot at anything. What can I expect at the top? Expect the control chamber to have some sort of security in place. We've been unable to find its parameters, so you should assume the worst. <laughs> no, it's fine. I have three new followers. I'm not certain that they're not bots, but you know, three new followers. It's chilly up here. That's due to the change in air density. 
I just looked it up. Oxygen content will go down as well, but that's on a serious problem below 18,000 feet. And you won't go that high. What if they shut down the reflection carrier signal before I get there? From what we can see, they still go ahead if you want to remain intact. Some have evacuated, but many remain. They're stupid. Oh, we might be wrong, plastic. Not a chance. I've done the calculations twice. Plastic, have you ever been wrong? No. Reach the top. Hey, bitch. Faith, I wasn't paying attention. Their firewalls are a joke. My sister could hack through them, and she's even more stupid than Kuma. Damn it! What? I lost the drop. You must have been hit by falling debris. This country is not safe and safe. So, Yvonne, did you look them up? Their firewalls are a joke. My sister could hack through them, and she's even more stupid than Kuma. Poor Kuma. What? Okay. Remember, you have moderator access. need to use them you can okay Faith. Right there. Thank you. All right. I've reached some sort of atrium. Great. New elevator on the other side. I've 
never seen this many trees. <coughs> it's beautiful here. That's too bad. The rest of the city could use a bit more of this. I mean, you are allowed to nap, you know. Oops. No? Why no? You are allowed to nap. No, adults nap when they need to. Come on, inch off. There you go. Anything other than that is a capitalistic lie. Oh. Sorry, Faith. That was my bad. I wasn't paying attention because I was too busy scolding my friend for not doing what she needs to do for her own health and say and you know, all of that. Fuck me. I missed. But yes, you are allowed to nap. Oh God. That's on me. That was on me, Faith. My bad. Nah, the game is telling me to pay attention. I can do both. Do what you need to do for your health. Oh god, wrong button. <coughs> Excuse me. Good. Uh oh. I think the game just crashed. 
<laughs> oh well it's fine i only have nine minutes left in my stream anyway um <laughs> so yeah thanks for hanging out with me um as i read through thanks for hanging out with me and putting up with me uh, obsessing over the lore and extra documentation and things from uh, uh, from this game. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be doing next. I don't know what I'm going to be doing next. Um, but I will find something to do. And that is what will fill my Wednesdays on stream. <coughs> um... But yeah, tomorrow I'll be playing more Shadow of War. So come back for that. Um, tomorrow, same usual times, etc. Um, uh, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, Twitter. Where you can, uh, you know, get updates and s interact with me and stuff. You can even join my... If you check my link tree, you'll find links to all of those. Uh, you can even join me on YouTube, where you can watch all my previous streams. I promise they're not just me reading a bunch of lore or playing a, a bunch of audio documents. Um, and uh, you can... Um, if you follow me... Uh, also on in my link tree is uh, my Discord, where you can have more, di much more direct communication with me and my friends. Uh, ch speaking of my friends, check out these amazing people up here, um, Yvonne B, who's been in the chat, and you know everybody else that I have up here. I have even more suggestions in my link tree down below. <coughs> also in my link tree, you'll find a link to my Patreon, where you will be able to support me directly. Uh, currently, there is only, uh, much more directly than through Twitch or YouTube. Um, currently, there is only one tier of subscription in which you, uh, if you pay a dollar, uh, if you uh, give me a dollar a month, I will put your name in my uh, in a thank you card at the end of my uh, at the end of my stream. Um, and uh, yeah. Um, there will be more tiers eventually, but for now, that's the only one. Uh, I've got logistics and stuff that I'm working out for the rest. Um, that I and you know I need capital and stuff like that. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Nah, that's about it. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Um, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourself, and love everyone around you. Um, and I will see you all tomorrow. I love you all. Peace out. My son! I have not recognized my son yet today. Look at his gloriousness. Look at how cute he is. The true heir to the Crimson Knight channel. Um, I love you all. Thank you for putting up with my bullshit. See y'all tomorrow.